We're well into the season and results have been somewhat of a mixed bag. But today we've got a very local derby versus Boston in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number three of the Kinslin Walks to Prem save here on the FM20 beta. And as you can see, today's game is against Boston United. Big, big local derby. Really looking forward to this game. We need to win it to keep the fans on side and to keep the fans behind us. So before we do get into the game, let's go and have a look and see how we've been getting on since you was last with me. Which was for the first game of the season, a 4-2 win against Leamington. Very decent result there, very decent performance. Gave us a lot of confidence to go forward with. And we carried that on with a 3-1 win against Bradford PA. And yeah, 3-1, decent result. I'm kind of glad we didn't win it just because of the own goal. Because that, that never feels right when you win a game by an own goal, in my opinion. But they got it back to 1-1. Alex Hurst with an equaliser for them. We then won it in the 88th and the 92nd minute. So yeah, I was happy with that performance. But... After that, we win not one, not two, not three, but four games without a win. Starting off with a 1-0 defeat against Alfreton. And it was a performance that I wasn't happy with. We never looked like getting at them, which was quite weird considering we had scored seven goals in our first two games in this league. So yeah, I was disappointed with that. And then even more disappointing, 2-1 against Telford. Aaron Williams and Theo Street with the goals for the visitors. Hawkins with our goal. And again, as you can see there, and nobody apart from Fox and Hawkins really playing well. And then following on from that, we had a 3-2 defeat against Curzon Aston. You can see they took the lead just before half-time. And they then scored immediately following the restart to make it 2-0. Ryan Hawkins got us one back in the 67th minute, but they scored their third in the 89th, and even Adam Marriott's late goal was not enough to get us a point. So that was a little bit better. We at least showed a little bit of fight in that game. And then after that, we played against Kidderminster. 3-1 defeat, Ryan Jarvis scoring at the wrong end of the pitch. Declan Weeks in the 86th minute and Ed Williams in the 94th. So a lot of late goals going on in this beta at the moment. Not sure if that's a thing they're going to look at or not. I don't know. Maybe it might just be fitness levels dropping at the end of games. And so after that, things finally started to look better. As we've now gone four games unbeaten. So that's a very nice swing around from the previous four games. Starting off with a 2-2 draw against Kettering in a game that, as you can see, was very even. They scored in the 61st minute. We scored in the 66th and the 73rd minute. But then a minute later, Joe Scarks with the equaliser for them. And that is how the game ended with Michael Gass getting himself a goal there, like I say. And then after that one, it was Farsley Celtic 2-2 again. David Sayers and Atkinson for the hosts. Adam Marriott getting himself a couple of goals. The star rating I showed you, I think it was in the last video, uh, that showed you where Adam Marriott is one of our best players. That is definitely true. It, once he gets chances and he gets confidence going, you cannot stop him at this level. So I've been really happy with Adam Marriott so far. And then we got a win against one of the bigger names in this league, Blythe Spartans, 1-0 win, Alfie Payne, the man on loan from Norwich, dishing out a bit of pain for the Blythe boys there. And then after that, we had a 3-0 win in the FA Cup, second qualifying round, Hebburn United, I've never heard of them, they're a, they're a seriously non-league team I think. If you have heard of them and you know anything about them, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing about all new teams that I've not heard of before. So, yep, please do get in touch. 
And then after that, that of course brings us to today's game against Boston United. And one little bit of transfer news. Someone who I showed you in the last video and I said we wasn't going to have a look at. We changed our mind. Louis Swain has come into the club as a backup left back. He can play anywhere on the left, so that's quite helpful. I do like players down at this level who can play more than one position, so that is very helpful. He's got 8 for heading, 6 for marking, 9 for tackling, 12 for strength, 12 for fitness, 2.5 star current, 4.5 star potential ability according to our assistant manager. So, yep, yeah, I'm very happy with that. We're paying him 190 quid a week on a fringe player deal. So, yep, everything is good about that deal. We are keeping within the wage budget. We've got 300 quid left in that. So now let's go and crack on with the game. All right, guys, we're back. It is game day now. And this is going to be the team for today's game. Street in goal. Fox at left back. Fryer and McCauley as the centre-backs. McCauley's not been playing that much, but he came to me and he had a bit of a moan. Said, can I play some games, boss? So I threw him in and automatically he's got that little green line between him and Fryer. Which means they've got a good relationship. So hopefully that means that our defence might be a little bit better for the time being, which will be very nice. And then we've got Webb at right back. We've got Henderson, Payne, Clunan and Hawkins in the middle of the park. And then it's Harry Lim and Adam Marriott up top, which actually Harry Lim, he has been playing well for the youngsters. But I don't want to throw him in for this game. Where's Michael Gass? There he goes. There it is. That's the team. Gass and Marriott up top. And so let's go into the game. And so Boston are going with a 4-4-2 as well. Very similar to us. Any players there I recognise the name of? Uh, Tanodge. I think I recognise his name from somewhere. Who has he played for? Nobody there. Maybe I've just heard of him off another FM save. But yep, this is the team. 4-4-2 playing against 4-4-2. Hopefully that means we're not going to uh, cancel each other out. And now why is my assistant not doing any opposition instructions? That is not good. Let's go Let's go to tight mark both of the strikers. And tackle hard on them. And as for the wingers, close them down. Close them down always. And Rollins as well. And go for the same on them. It's going to be a derby. There's going to be a lot of heavy tackles. And let's see what we can do. Passing it. Uh, come on lads, show me what you can do. No reaction. Jesus Christ. They really don't listen to me. I think they've all still got their blooming headphones on. And so only one player paid any attention to me. Chris Henderson. Let's go and start the game. First highlight of the game, it's us on the attack. It's Fox with the ball, throws it to Payne. Fox into Henderson. And Henderson, can he cross the ball in? No, he goes to Payne. He goes for a long shot and just over the bar. Decent first attack, that. A minute later, Webb now with the ball for us. Clunan with it. He needs the man on the wings to make a run. And he goes cross-field instead. Henderson. And his man, Fox, on the overlap, crosses it in and gets headed away. Platt with the ball. And are we going to come forward again? Oh, no, this could be Boston on the counter. Rollins, is he going to burn it down? He's going to try. Goes to Allen. Allen with the ball, goes wide. But Fox heads it away. Platt now, on the halfway line. Back to Rollins. And can we please win it back off him here? Nope. Platt with a good ball there. Goes to Allen on the edge of the box. He's forced out wide. Crosses it in. And Boston have the lead. Jay Rollins with the goal. And what a bullet header that was. Not the way I wanted this derby to be starting, people. As Allen had the ball. And like I say, crosses it in. And yeah, the keeper. Never going to catch a ball like that, are you? What was he doing? What was he doing? And now a minute later, Thanods with the ball. And it's 2-0. Oh, no. 
What on earth is going on here? Tom Platt with his second of the season. And well, all that I was just saying about our defence being better. It's not. It's really, really not. 23 minutes gone. Whittle now with the ball. Adebayo Smith heads it on, but we win it back. And Webb goes to McCauley. Forward to Payne. Wide to Hawkins. And what can Hawkins do with it? Absolutely nothing. Clunan with a long ball over the top. Gas is in. Gas is in behind the defence here. And he's hit the bar. How has he done that? How? Oh, half an hour gone. Fox with another throw in to Henderson. Back to Fox. And can he find a teammate? He tries. He's gone over the top. And can Marriott get onto this? He does. He's in the box. He shoots and it's saved. Uh, Hawkins now on the rebound. Payne, Clunan. Come on, get the ball back. Get the ball back in the box. Ah, uh, no, nothing happening there. A lot of highlights in this game. Street with the ball. Just taking his dear sweet time. He kicks the ball long. And neither Gas or Marriott make any move towards that ball. Brilliant work, lads. And now, ah, oh, Smith's in. It's 3-0. Oh. Oh, my gosh. 3-0 down in my first derby in charge of the game. In charge of the team, sorry. I'm losing my words. That all came from Gas and Marriott not making a move for the ball. There was no fight there. No desire to win the second ball. Let's see what I can change. It might be a bit late at 3-0 down. But what do you do? I think close down a bit more urgently. A bit wider on the old defensive width. Go shoot on sight. And longer passing. And well, this is not on. Fox with a throw in on the left hand side. Payne to Clunan. He goes wide. It goes to Hawkins. He crosses it in. Marriott with the shot, but again it's saved. He's hit the post. We've hit the crossbar. We've hit the post. It's just not our day, is it? As again, Payne has the ball. He goes cross field. Whittle heads it away. Hits Fox on the head and goes wide. Gas is looking anxious and he's got every reason to. Because he has been gas. He has been awful today. I'm seriously considering taking him off. And well, that is half time. And look at those stats. Seriously, FM. We've had seven shots to their three, three on target to their three. Every single shot they've had has gone in the back of the net. <sighs> Let's go tactics. Let's get gas off. Oh, can we? Have I not got a striker on the bench? That was a little bit of an oversight, people. Whoops. Well, who else can we can we take anybody else off? I might take Henderson off. He's not been all that brilliant either. Nope, you know what? We're gonna leave it as is. These these boys have got themselves in this mess. And so hopefully they can get themselves out of it. As I've gone aggressively there, we need to see a much better performance. Most of the lads are motivated, and it's only Nathan Fox that is stressed. So let's go end the team talk and get into the second half. First highlight of the second half. Henderson with the free kick. And Rory McCauley making up for some defensive errors there. He's got himself his first goal of the season. And now is that a little bit of hope that we need to get back into this game? Alright, so we're making one change here in the 67th minute. Sam Kelly is coming on for Henderson. And we've put the wingers on more of an attacking role. And the two central midfielders as well. To try and get us some more chances. 13 minutes left in the game. Boston have the ball in their own half. Clears it. Goes to Kelly. To Payne. 
who tries to play it through but goes to absolutely nobody and it's going to be four. It's going to be four. No, it's not. What a save from Street. Oh, thank God for that. Ten minutes remaining now. Fox with the ball to Kelly. To Fox. Goes out wide. And Webb now with the ball. Plays it to Hawkins. Into Clunan in the middle of the pitch. Gas. Plays it to Payne. Out wide. He's got a man out wide. Kelly. Kelly is getting himself into the box. He goes for the shot. We're back in it. We are back in this game. And I am a tactical genius putting Kelly on the pitch. That was an absolute rocket of a goal. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Payne with the pass. Kelly was in all kinds of space. And he just fired that into the back of the net. Can we do this? Can we do this, lads? Five minutes left and we've got another highlight. And it goes to Stabana off our free kick. Wills clears the ball there from his own penalty area. And now Knowles plays it through. And Tanodge to Platt. He goes wide. And Fulis with the ball and it's in the back of the net. Ah, that was too good to be true, wasn't it, lads? That was too good to be true. And, oh, he was offside. He was offside. Has it, has it been disallowed? It has. Yeah, come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go pause it and go team instructions. They are playing a bit more narrow. So I'm going to try and go wider and go for the overlap. And play down the wings and to see what we can get here. And the answer is, ooh, the answer might be an equaliser. Payne with the free kick. It's hit the bar and it goes out. Oh, we're still playing here. Kelly's got the ball. He's crossed it wide. Hawkins here. Come on, one last chance. He crosses it in. Kelly is unable to get onto that. And I think that's going to be the final whistle. That was indeed the last action of the game. 3-2 defeat. We did well to get back into it from 3-0 down at half time. But just was not able to get back into it. But the performance was pleasing. The performance, I think, judging by the stats, 20 shots, 9 on target, 52% of the ball. I do think on another day, we would have won the game there. So, I'm happy with that. Nothing to be that concerned about. I think, so let's go into the team talk, uh, I'm going to go assertive though, I'm going to go, I'm not happy, because we did lose, and I don't want them to know I was, I was quite happy with them, and so yeah, they're motivated, they're fired up, and so guys, that is where we're going to leave it for today, we're going to have a quick look at the league table, see where we are after 10 games, because that's when I start looking at the league table. So, the league table after 10 games is looking like this. We're 14th in the league. We've won three games, drawn two, lost five, and we've got 11 points. So, we're already a little bit away from the playoffs. We're eight points away, but, of course, all we need is a top half finish. So, we're not doing too badly against that. And so, let's have a quick look at the club vision. And then I will let you boys go. Yep, the board are satisfied with the, with the league position at the minute. And they're pleased with the FA Cup. So everything is okay on that front. And so guys, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. And subscribe for more FM20 content. Pro Evo 20 content. Planet Zoo content starting again next week. And on, on the topic of subscribers, just want to say thank you to everybody for this. Where is it? There you go. 500 subscribers on the channel. We hit that on Saturday. So thank you everybody who has subscribed. It really does mean a lot to me. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and join the Passion for FM Discord as well and check out the website. There's some very good downloadable stuff on that website and a lot of good articles 
uh, as well. So I'm going to put the links for all of them down below. And yep, guys, I shall see you next time. Bye.